the government has invested a lot in terms of infrastructure. That is the first thing. They built the institution. They have built the classrooms. They have built the workshops. We have supplied the equipment. We are training their teachers on how to use the equipment. Your role is only to come. And I would like to add one point is this. We have what is referred to as TVET reforms in this country. And one of the areas of TVET reforms is the funding of TVET education in this country. What you need to do, you go to help, apply for a loan, get a loan, come and study. After you are working, then you start repaying the loan just like any other student who has joined the university. So I'm appealing to the youth, please come enroll yourself for our courses in our TVET institution. At the end of it, you are going to benefit, your family is going to benefit, the country is going to benefit, the county is going to benefit. And this one, the standard of living in the county will improve. Today we are very happy because we got mechanical engineering equipment and indeed that will engage our youth. The county government of Mandera is also sponsoring all the students joining this institute. We have already budgeted 10 million shillings for this financial year as scholarship for these students. I'm urging the Mandera youth to come and enroll at this institute at free of charge so that that reduce the unemployment in this county. The county government has invested heavily in this institution. Uh, the national government has only put up the, 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 the tuition and administration block and the county government has fenced the institution. It has put up the hostels. It has put up teachers' houses. Now they are constructing uh, two workshops and they are connecting water to the institution. While the national government is providing the uh, teachers and uh, recurrent funding and a bit of development funds for the institution. The challenge is now up to us to ensure that our uh, children and our people benefit from this uh, equipment that have been brought to us. As leadership, we are going to make sure that we sensitize our people. Uh, we advocate advocacy programs so that the idle people and the youths who uh, might not be getting this uh, opportunity uh, will benefit from uh, uh, this uh, equipment. So we also thank the county government of Mandera under the leadership of uh, His Excellency, the Governor Ali Ibrahim Roba, for what he has done. Secondly, the Ministry of Education has also given us grants, their bursaries for students, and uh, all this is going to improve the livelihoods of uh, our people and uh, change the perception of our youths. As leaders, we will not leave any stone unturned to make sure that people will sensitize them, for them to come for this, uh, to take up these uh, uh, opportunities. It is, there is no doubt that in future, this place will be more even demanding. Uh, the technical colleges will be more demanding than universities and high schools. So uh, we are asking our people, people of Mandera, particularly the youth, uh, to join these te technical training colleges. 